Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Let's score game four of Scott and Ransk challenge. All right, so today they both started with the same words, Sudan, China, and Japan. And as you can see below each of those words, I have how many words are remaining after each guess. So for example, they typed S uh, for the first letter. So after S, they only have 6,759 words remaining. So letter by letter, they are knocking down words, all right? So I hope that makes sense. All right, so after Sudan, Scott is left with 94, so is Ransk. And because they use the same words, they all have the exact same score. But here is where things get really interesting. All right, let's look at the next word that they selected. So Scott went with line, and I know you watched the video. He is, I say, uh, Scott is more of a linguist and Ransk is more of a, a logical guy. So Scott went with line, he didn't find, I mean, L is gray, so it's not part of the answer, but I is in the answer, although not in the final position. Anyway, you're seeing the colors here and you understand what Wordle is about. Uh, so he had 21 words after L, four after I, three after N, and then from that, he only had one word remaining, which is denim. Ransk, on the other hand, he used diner for his uh, fourth guess, and he finds D in the right location. So he goes from 23 words to just seven, and then the very next word with I, he finds the answer. And so with that, by the numbers, Ransk wins this round, but let's make this interesting. I don't know if Scott or Ransk agree with this, but I would say let's make the final round worth three points, and that way, if Scott wins it, he wins it all. If Ransk wins it, then he takes home the trophy. All right? Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.